Greetings, everyone, and welcome to another special Halloween Closer Look and Disambiguation. Continuing our journey through the worlds of Hammer Horror, today we're going to take a look at the second largest ongoing series that Hammer produced, featuring everybody's favorite man-made monster, Frankenstein. Today on the Multimedia Chronicles. <laughs> So last time we took a look at Hammer's Dracula series, which is easily their longest-running ongoing series over the course of their history. They did nine Dracula films between 1958 and 1974. Well, Frankenstein is a very close second. They actually did seven Frankenstein movies between 1957 and 1974. So let's head on down to the black box and we'll check them out, see what order they go in. There is a pretty tight continuity between these ones. And take a look at the various North American Blu-ray releases if you're looking to collect them for yourself. Okay, so this one was a long time coming. Those of you who watched my Hammer Horror Blu-ray updates over the past while, well, past year or two, I guess, uh, will know this is one of the most highly sought-after titles in the whole collection because this is the one that kicked off Hammer's legacy as a gothic horror studio. Of course, talking about 1957's The Curse of Frankenstein. And those of you who watched my overview of the Dracula series last week will know that I had no kind words for Warner Archive and how they treated the horror of Dracula, which was the second gothic horror film uh, following this one. Uh, boy, did they ever make up for it with this release. This is such a deluxe release, it's almost ridiculous. Uh, let's take a look here. So, first off, we have the lovely poster art there. And on the back, look at this. Look at how much we have in terms of bonus material here. So, we'll, we'll check that all out in just a second here. So, we have lovely disc art. One with the monster, one with Dr. Frankenstein. Very cool. And then in terms of extras, we have so much stuff on here. So, all right. First up, on the first disc, we have two versions of the main feature. They're new restorations remastered from new 4K scans. Um, we have 1.85 to 1 uh, U.S. aspect ratio and the 1.66 to 1 U.K. aspect ratio. Uh, and it includes feature-length audio commentary by screenwriter and film historian Steve Haberman and filmmaker, film historian Constantine Nazur. And then on disc two, special features in high definition, we have the 1.37 to 1 open matte version. So the completely uncropped original full-frame version as it was filmed. That's really cool. Uh, once again, restored and remastered from new 4K scans. We've got The Resurrection Men, Hammer, Frankenstein, and the Rebirth of the Horror Film uh, featurette. Got Hideous Progeny, The Curse of Frankenstein, and the English Gothic Tradition featurette. Torrents of Light, The Art of Jack Asher. Diabolus in Musica, James Bernard and the Sound of Hammer Horror. And the original theatrical trailer. Like, wow, that is incredibly loaded especially for a warner archive title which are usually fairly light on extras or just bare bones but um it's nice to see that they really recognized the importance of this film in the hammer legacy and gave it the proper deluxe treatment and uh and also filling in the final gap in the frankenstein collection in absolute royal treatment style so next up, the second film from 1958, The Revenge of Frankenstein, we only have from Mill Creek. So it was first released in this double feature with The Curse of the Mummy's Tomb. And that's it. And there's no extras to speak of 
yeah, these are these are just bare bones, just the movies, and that's it. It is also available. The, these double features have since been replaced by this set here, the Hammer Films Ultimate Collection, the 20 film set. So this also includes the Revenge of Frankenstein as well. So there's a couple different ways you can get it. If you just want the Frankenstein movie and the Mummy movie, just get the double feature. It's pretty cheap. But I definitely recommend this 20 film set because it's got a ton of rare uh, Hammer films there that you can't get on Blu-ray any other way here in North America. So definitely worth uh, tracking that one down. Now, just before we continue here, I wanted to talk a little bit about an alternative to the Mill Creek sets if you want to have Revenge of Frankenstein separately on your shelf, say, with your Frankenstein movies, or if you like to organize your hammer shelf by release date or what have you. I know a lot of people complain about the fact that uh, over on our shores, a lot of the hammer movies are only available in box sets, and it doesn't let them organize the collection the way they want to. Well, there is another option for you. Some of you may have heard of Indicator, which is a UK label, and for the past several years, they've been releasing these lovely box sets of Hammer films, many of which are the same films that have been released by Mill Creek over in North America. The difference is Indicator is near Criterion level in terms of the transfer quality, the extras, and just the absolute deluxe treatment that they give to all of these films. Now the box sets are of course limited editions, so each one is limited to about 6,000 units, and once they're gone, they're gone. However, once those box sets go out of print, they release all of the films from those box sets individually. Now, while the box sets are Region B locked, the individual releases are actually region free. Yes! So even if you don't have a region free Blu-ray player, you can still get the individual non-limited releases and add them to your Hammer collection. Now the difference with the standard releases is they don't include the booklets that come with the individual movies in the box set, and of course they don't have the box. But in terms of the on-disc contents, they're all the same. Now taking a look at the Revenge of Frankenstein here, where we got a handful of extras with the 20 film set that Mill Creek put out, check this out. As you can see, Indicator really loads these releases with extras. I mean, Look at this. Look at all this stuff they have just for Revenge of Frankenstein alone. The nice thing about these individual releases also is that they tend to be rather affordable. They're typically about $20 or less over on our shores to import them. And you can typically get them through third-party sellers on Amazon.com and Amazon.ca. Needless to say, I will be including links to these in the description along with all the other links. And so the long and the short of it is, if, like me, you like to have all your Hammer films individually so you can organize them on your shelf however you prefer, such as with the Frankenstein set, having all the Frankenstein movies together in release date order, you can do that with the Indicator releases. And not just that, but you also get releases that are every bit as deluxe as the ones from Scream Factory and whatnot. So, yeah, definitely worth checking out. So once again, the individual non-limited releases are region-free. It's only the limited edition box sets that are region B locked. So even if you don't have a region free player, these Indicator releases are a very good option for you. Indicator has released most of the same movies that Mill Creek has put out across their collections in similarly deluxe editions. In some of the upcoming Closer Look videos, we'll be taking a look at some of the other releases that Indicator's put out that you might want to consider as an alternative option to the Mill Creek sets. Next up, from Scream Factory, we have the third film in the Frankenstein saga, The Evil of Frankenstein. Now, much like the Dracula films, there is a continuity to the Frankenstein films. They do continue one from the next. So ideally, you want to watch them in release date order to get the full continuity and the entire saga in order. And there we go. So very, very nice. And much like Scream Factory's other releases, this does include a reversible cover with the original movie poster art on the other side. So, of course, I flipped that around for the keep case. So, if we take a look inside here, it's just a single disc, but absolutely loaded with stuff, which we'll go through in just a sec here. And as you can see underneath, there is the alternate uh, artwork, the new artwork commissioned for this release. So, we'll just take a look at that. 
whilst I go over the extras here. So check this out. So we have a new audio commentary with filmmaker and film historian Constantine Nazir. The Making of the Evil of Frankenstein, narrated by Edward D'Souza and featuring interviews with actors Peter Cushing and Karen Gardner. Associate Director Hugh Harlow. Script Continuity Pauline Harlow. Wayne Kinsey and Art Director Don Mingay. A Moment with Karen Gardner. Theatrical Trailer. Skill, still Gallery. And another extra that they don't mention on the case. I don't know why Scream Factory does that, especially since these are major selling points. There's an alternate cut of the film on here. So you actually get a second cut. Specifically, the very rarely seen television cut, which apparently has some pretty significant differences. Um, I'm guessing it's probably pretty heavily censored. But it's nice to have that as an alternate cut. And that's something that's never been available on home video before, to my knowledge. So very, very cool indeed. Next up, we have... The fourth entry in the Frankenstein saga, Frankenstein Created Woman. Yeah, there was a friend of mine growing up. This was actually his favorite one in the whole cycle. He, he was always raving about it. So it's nice to see it get the deluxe treatment from Scream Factory like this. So there we go. Very, very nice uh, slip cover for this one. And if we slide it out, once again, we do have the original poster art there as well. Very nice. And if we take a look inside, again, just a single disc release, but absolutely loaded with stuff. And then, of course, the alternate artwork underneath. And there we go. So, in terms of extras, here we'll take a look at the slipcover while I go through the extras here. We have a brand new 2K scan of the original film elements, new audio commentary by a film historian. Steve Haberman, and film historian filmmaker Constantine Nazir. Commentary by actors Derek Fowles and Robert Morris, and film historian Jonathan Rigby. A World of Hammer episode, The Curse of Frankenstein. Hammer Glamour documentary, theatrical trailers, TV spots, and still gallery. So, a very nice, properly deluxe edition of this fondly remembered film. Next up, we have the fifth film in the saga from Warner. Frankenstein Must Be Destroyed. Yes. There we go. Now, this is just one of their uh, straight-up Blu-ray releases. They had an old, uh, some old DVD releases of a bunch of the Hammer films. They've since put all, I think it was six films. They've put all six of them out on Blu-ray, and uh, this was one of those. Nothing to write home about. Not much on... In, you know, in terms of discard or anything like that. No extras, it's bare bones, just the movie, and that's it. Next up, back to Scream Factory we go for The Horror of Frankenstein. This was originally released as a double bill with The Scars of Dracula, and uh, features Dave Prowse, actually, Darth Vader himself as the monster in this one. It's pretty cool. And there we go. So in terms of extras for this one, we've got, uh, once again, presented in two aspect ratios. 1.85 to 1, the U.S. aspect ratio, and 1.66 to 1, uh, U.K. aspect ratio. A new audio commentary by film historian Bruce G. Hallenbeck. Gallows humor inside Horror of Frankenstein. Yeah, this one's a little more of a horror comedy than the others that are more deadly serious. Audio commentary with Jimmy Sangster and Hammer Films historian Marcus Hearn. A vintage interview with actress Veronica Carlson and the original theatrical trailer. So if we take a look inside. Ah, you thought I forgot, didn't you? We have uh, just some lovely disc art. And then uh, no reversible cover, but we do have a nice high-res shot from the movie in there. So there you go. Very nice indeed. Just slide that back in. And then, last but most certainly not least, we have Frankenstein and the Monster from Hell. This was a long sought after gap in the collection. It was like the first and last movies in the cycle were just like 
MIA for the longest time on Blu-ray. So this is Frankenstein and the Monster from Hell, which was previously only available on DVD from Paramount. This release is from Scream Factory. They got a hold of it from Paramount and uh, put this out. Now, I should mention, there is a, an uncut version of this, which sadly is not the version we got here in North America. It runs about two minutes longer than this version. So this is the U.S. cut, which was uh, censored from the original U.K. version. And uh, sadly, it looks like that we just can't get the U.K. version here. So if you want the uncut U.K. version, there is a Region B locked Blu-ray release that you can get that has it but uh, you do need a region-free player for that. So, meanwhile, at least we got this one. I mean, something's better than nothing, right? And to be fair, this is the version that has been available here forever. But, uh, you know, given that we're getting uncut versions of everything else, it would have been nice to have this as well. Maybe something along the lines of the, uh, the Warner set that of uh, Curse of Frankenstein that had, you know, multiple versions or Evil of Frankenstein which had two different cuts. But I guess they just weren't able to get the cut unfortunately. But it's nice to have this at least in some form so we do have all seven of the Frankenstein films on Blu-ray now. So in terms of special features, it's pretty light on special features too actually. So we have audio commentary with actress Madeline Smith, actor David Prowse. Yes, Darth Vader plays the monster once again. Uh, and film historian Jonathan Sothcott, and the theatrical trailer. So that's it. We have a commentary and a trailer, and that's it. And sadly, once again, no uncut version. I should also mention Evil of Frankenstein previously was only available on Blu-ray in this collection here, the Hammer Horror Collection from Universal Pictures. Uh, yeah, Sh Scream Factory licensed most, if not all, of these films. They've put out... Uh, I think six of them. One, two, three, four, no, five of them. They put out five of these on Blu-ray in lovely upgraded collector's editions. I'm hoping they do the other three. The three that haven't been released as of this video are Paranoiac, Night Creatures, and Nightmare. So hopefully we'll get releases of those from Scream Factory and then we can kind of retire this set. But, uh, but yeah, so if you have this set, you have Evil of Frankenstein, but this is just bare bones. You won't have any of the extras or the alternate cut. And there you have it. The entire Frankenstein saga from Hammer Films going from the beginning to the end. So we have The Curse of Frankenstein, The Revenge of Frankenstein, The Evil of Frankenstein, Frankenstein Created Woman, Frankenstein Must Be Destroyed, Horror of Frankenstein, and Frankenstein and the Monster from Hell. And that's it. At long last, we have all seven of them on Blu-ray in North America. And there you have it. So that's all seven films in the Frankenstein collection. Yeah, kind of annoying that that one is only available in the Hammer set and all the others are available individually. So you kind of have this one little disparate gap in the collection that's, you know, wherever you decide to put that double feature or the 20 film set or what have you. Oh, well, at least we have them all. That's the main thing. I mean, better to have them in some weird order of collections and whatnot than to not have them at all. And boy, did it ever take a long time to get Curse of Frankenstein and Frankenstein and the Monster from Hell. Ugh. But glad to finally have those gaps filled. Alrighty, well that is it for this time. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you'd like to add any of the Blu-rays talked about in this uh, video to your own collection, you will find Amazon links in the description down below. And as always, thank you very much to those of you who use my Amazon links because it does help to support the show. So big thanks to you for watching. Big thanks to my Patreon sponsors. Be sure to catch me on Twitch. I stream just about every day. And I will see you next time. Until then, sayonara. Thank <laughs> you.